Today we have here the Asus ZenBook 14 UX435 EG and this is Katsi's Take on Tech. Hi guys, welcome to Alexel. I have been using the Asus ZenBook 14 UX435 EG for a couple of weeks now and I feel like it's finally time for me to share with you my thoughts on the device. Now, as I have mentioned in my unboxing, I have been a huge fan of this Asus ZenBook line ever since they launched it almost a decade ago. And for me, the ZenBook line has always stood for sleek, chic, and powerful ultra portables and up until now, the Asus ZenBook is staying true to that ethos. When Asus said that this is built for incredible, they weren't kidding guys. Straight out of the box for the top tier variant, you get the latest 11th gen Intel i7 Tiger Lake edition with 2.8 GHz clocking up to 4.7 GHz. Now this is paired with 16 GB of RAM and a 1 TB SSD drive. You also get an NVIDIA GeForce MX450 with 2 GB VRAM. Now that's a pretty powerful combination that I've been excited to use and I have tested out, especially for my design work. Speaking of design, let's talk about the signature ZenBook aesthetic. Now this has the trademark Asus concentric circle spun metal finish and this particular ZenBook 14 comes in two colorways, lilac mist and this is the fine gray. I love how the fine gray just exudes professionalism, it makes me feel like I'm going to get things done when I'm on it. It also has the nano bezel displays which gives a more immersive viewing experience and working experience which is perfect because you just want to finish up all the work and go to Netflix. For on-the-go computing and late-night Netflix sessions, you have the 63 watt-hour battery which is rated up to 12 hours and the power brick of 65 watts and this device also has easy charge so if you only have access to your power bank, it'll charge up your device. A bit slowly but it's okay, you'll get to finish that K-drama anyway. Asus actually gives us incredible value for the price. You have the free LAN dongle and a free laptop seat. You might think that these are pretty standard, but no, they're not. So that savings and yet another savings because even if you're just working from home, going up and down the stairs, you would want some protection for your laptop. Speaking of protection, you also get an Asus premium care warranty. Now, again, that's something that you might be thinking, it's standard. No, it's not. Other laptop brands would definitely charge you up to 9,000 pesos just to get extended warranty. Now imagine that Asus just saved you that money and they gave it all for free. For work, you have the Windows Home Edition and pre-installed Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019 straight out of the box. That's a savings of almost 6,000 if you're subscribed to the Microsoft Office 365. And finally, because of working from home, we have all of these Zoom meetings or online classes and Asus actually has a new AI noise cancellation technology built into the ZenBook 14. You get to save on a noise cancelling mic adapters or noise cancelling headphones, which are pretty expensive also. All in all, that's a total of around 25,000 in savings. Let's run through the ports quickly. To the right of the device, you have the standard USB-A, an audio jack, and a micro SD card slot. To the left of the device, you have an HDMI port and two Thunderbolt USB-C ports. It also has an infrared camera for quick logging on using Windows Hello. It's quite perfect, especially if you don't want to keep typing in your passwords. Now, do you want me to show you the ScreenPad 2.0? So this is how I use the Asus ScreenPad 2.0. First, I use it as a touchpad. Just a touch of that icon, you already have your normal trackpad and touchpad. Then just close it 
and you get your screen pad already. Another quick tip is just tap three fingers and it's already a touchpad and it will instantly go back to being a screen pad. Aside from the built-in apps like Spotify, Calculator, and the Slide Doc Cheat Experts, you can also customize it with your personal bookmarks or app shortcuts like this. Just one tap and you already have Notepad. I also have separate bookmarks like this and see, just one touch and I will also have my blog on screen. You can also turn it off and on using the F6 so you can like have a screen pad mode, traditional touchpad mode, and touchpad is disabled. But of course, I want screen pad mode on. Another handy feature is that you can have specific task groups. So here, when I do planning, it will open up side by side all the important information that I need on the screen. I also have one for socials, one for connecting, and then another for design. See, AutoCAD is powering up, so we'll sketch up in a few, and File Explorer here in the screen pad. See? Pretty handy. For my typical work day, I do our design projects. So I design, check, and coordinate, manage our staff. So I usually have, well, our website and other research stuff going on in the background. And then I'll have my design task group active. So that's um, AutoCAD and SketchUp at the same time. It's opening now, and then the useful screen pad display extension. So I actually have three screens, and let's put the sketch up here, and let's maximize this. And I usually have like a couple of drawings open, um, iterations of different files staff and clients have like quick questions or some verifications that they have to do their all open at the same time so this is a pretty standard model for us we have the structure and the landscape and furniture so as you can see i can move around the project quite quickly The Asus Zen for Working allows me to run my design programs side by side, so it would be a good laptop for design professionals or even design students because it really does the job. Overall, the Asus Zen for Working UX435EG made sure that this ZenBook fan stays a fan. As an architect and content creator, the latest specs of the ZenBook 13 does the job really well. If you're looking for a sleek, chic, and powerful ultra portable, then this laptop is great value for money, especially with all the bonus features that I mentioned earlier. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And yes, this is with Katsi's Take on Tech. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!